Does anybody who's not a full-time woke Twitter rage mobber give two squirts of piss about the racial and gender breakdown of any year's Oscar nominees? No, they do not. There's only three kinds of people who think that way. Idiots, morons, fools, and professional race grifters. But I guess that's four. Hey, there's a lot of overlap between the groups, so you get the point. And so, because some anonymous fools on the interwebs decided they were no longer willing to live in a world where Academy Award nominations are apportioned based on quality and merit, the film industry immediately prostrated itself before the altar of the woke, and now we get to live in the wonderful world of Oscar racial quotas. And at least one person is probably dead because of that. Her name was Helena Hutchins. He was a 42-year-old cinematographer shot and killed by Alec Baldwin because he didn't know he was holding a revolver with live rounds in it. Now, how did he wind up holding such a revolver? Because the film's lead armorer handed it to him and told him it was a cold gun. The lead armorer, who last week was convicted of involuntary manslaughter and is currently awaiting sentencing. Was she qualified to be doing the job she was doing? No, not even remotely. But the woke Oscar quota system says you have to have X number of women and X number of people of color, and if they're not in the cast, they have to be on the crew. Otherwise, your film gets no awards, it's not even eligible. But you know what? If we hired this person purple-haired 19-year-old weed-smoking little girl with the lip ring and the neck tattoo to be in charge of all the firearms on set? We can tick several of those woke Oscar boxes all at once. We can kill three birds with one stone and possibly one cinematographer with one bullet. It's a point I have made before, including in the video I made right after the incident happened when we first found out who the armorer on the picture was, and I received some pretty viscerally angry reactions for suggesting that the root cause of Helena Hutchins' death was the hiring of an underqualified minority female drug user to be in charge of the firearms. And each person who reacted that way, I posed this question to him. Can you picture that person being hired for that job if no consideration was being given to the Oscar racial quotas? And I never got a straight answer. Was I surprised? No, because you can't defend the indefensible, so why try? And affirmative action in all of its forms, in all of its different guises, does not permit of being honestly and rationally defended. If you hire unqualified people for important jobs, jobs in which other people's safety depends on that person's professional competence, the end result is going to be people getting harmed and killed. If the airlines persist with their affirmative action pilot hiring programs that they've announced, planes are going to crash, lots of innocent people will die. If the medical schools and the hospital systems persist with their affirmative action programs that they have announced, lots of patients will be harmed and killed because their doctor was incompetent. That is not a guess. That is not conjecture, it is a fact about the world. And are you willing to sacrifice your own life or the lives of your friends and loved ones on the altar of woke affirmative action policies that are designed for the sole purpose of making wealthy white liberals feel more virtuous about themselves? I myself am not, and I'm guessing Helena Hutchins' widower and her two motherless children probably wouldn't have been either had they been given the choice, which they were not.